There's been a large construction project on our campus for the last two years as we switch from fossil fuel based heating and cooling to a more fuel efficient geothermal system. This system has provided a couple of opportunities for us to do some applied research. The first thing that we're doing is we are instrumenting two wells, one in the middle of a well field and the other well on the outside of a well field to measure the long-term changes in the earth temperature as the system is operated. That well field includes 144 wells and each well is 400 feet deep. We instrumented one of those wells in the center of that group of 144 with a series of thermocouples to measure temperature along that 400 foot depth. And we drilled one more well 20 feet outside the other group of wells. That well is just used to measure potential changes in the earth temperature outside of the main well field. So we can compare over a long period of time potential changes in the earth temperature in the middle of the well field with depth and we can compare those temperatures to the temperatures we measure at our special well. We know that the system is unbalanced, that we require more cooling than we do heating. So there is a chance that our earth temperatures could change because of this imbalance. The second part of our proposed research is to use geothermal energy to help us treat drinking water. So that's one and a quarter. Geothermal energy has the potential to help us heat and cool water during the treatment process, thus reducing the amount of water wasted and reducing the amount of energy used to treat the water. So pretty good. 